Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a channeled message from your person. There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Red Jasper Heart. Group two is the Amazonite Heart. And group three is the honey calcite heart. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead. And up next is a close-up photo of the crystals to help you better make your selection. Hi, group one. You chose the red jasper heart. So I'm going to start with some tarot and I will use these as the framework for the channeling and then I will dive into the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial portion of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through in the first section or can serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So what does your person want you to know right now? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Knight of Swords, the Moon, Four of Wands, the Fool, King of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. It is so hard for appearances sake for me to contain my love for you for much longer. I am struggling to adhere to the reasons and the vows that I had taken initially that encouraged me to keep you at a safe distance from me. Because right from the moment that I met you, I had the feeling that you would change my life fundamentally forever. And so I have been cautious with allowing you in too close. I know I have given you glimpses, glimmers, indicators, and cues that there is something more about me, something more than meets the eye, a layer of depth, intensity, tenderness, and romance that I am very cautious with where I openly apply and express these components of myself, but which I am very anxious to acquaint you with in due time. I dream about you nearly every night, and in the day I find myself tumbling through fantasies of what a life like you could be like. I shake myself back to a state of realizing that I don't need to linger in this energy of etheric what-ifs, that I have the power and control in my hands right now to make known to you in a very direct and unmistakable manner what my intentions are for you, what I am prepared and able to give in building those intentions into something meaningful and substantial in the material world at this time, and where I see this connection developing into in the long term. I don't know why I continue to hold back, 
beyond the myriad of excuses, the complications in my life and yours that make it tedious for us to find a way through the obstacles which stand between the two of us in order to navigate to that perfect pairing and union that I know we so want with one another. Aside from these material circumstances, there is no good reason internally why I should not be completely open and honest with you. I know that together we can find a way beyond these barriers together. And yet I am so determined to try and lay the perfect foundation, come to you with solutions in hand, so that you do not see me as somebody who in any way is a work in progress, or who you might need to put your own dreams on the shelf in order to accommodate the facilitating of a connection between the two of us in a more direct manner. I want you to live your life without a concern in the world. I love the way that you move with independence and purpose. It has drawn me to you already and keeps my gaze fixed firmly upon you with a sense of longing and wanting. I want to be there by your side as you continue to make your dreams a reality. I want to be the person that shows you a different kind of love one that helps to build good and healthy memories as opposed to something which requires you to hide away from the world and recover from. I don't want to add any more complications into the nature of your life that I already know from what you have told me and all I am able to decipher and glean has created stress for you at this time, that it is a struggle for you to hold even one more ounce of the possibility of things falling apart. And so, until I am certain that I can move towards you with purpose, determination, and consistency, I will continue to keep my truth held in a very sacred place within. Just because things are at a standstill between the two of us presently does not mean that I do not intend to create movement of my own volition and free will in the future. I am tired of waiting for divine timing, and I am starting to understand that time is in my hands. I have the power and control to make that elusive moment of one day become the experience of now. I am looking around at what mu at what must be closed up in my life in order to create more room for you and I to come into full bloom. You are everything that I have been seeking, and although it pains me to keep you in such a secreted place within, it feels that this is where the possibility of our love story is safest at the moment. There are battles that I am fighting in my internal landscape and external reality that I do not want to trouble you with the details of the nature of. Please be confident in the silent knowing that there is definitely something more between the two of us, something more than meets the eye, more that I want to express to you, that you mean more to me than I have let you know up to this point in time and that I am a person at this stage in my life who will not let such a clear and determined path forward towards something wholly unknown and yet which fills me with a sense of anticipation because I know that we could be so beautiful together. Please trust that I will not just leave this as something which is an unopened door that I have not explored in this lifetime. I do not want you to be a person that I look back upon and wish I had handled in a different manner. I want to be honest with you. I want to know of all the parts that you keep hidden and feel that there is not a safe place for these very precious components of who you are to be loved and to be experienced in a loving connection openly. I know that we fit so well with one another with everything that I know about you so far, and I am eager to explore more of the details and the subtleties and nuances of what makes each of us the complex individuals that we are, because it feels like a greater path of destiny that has drawn us to this point, where I am now tasked to stand up, 
shake myself free from my comfort zone and make bold efforts towards you in a way that announces beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is more than just a fleeting fancy which has stirred within me for you, but that I honestly and with everything that I am can tell you that I am falling deeply in love with you and this feeling of love increases and becomes more certain and more complex with every day that passes. I want us to grow closer to one another as opposed to continuing to drift further apart and I thank you for the opportunity to allow me to prove to you beyond just words but with my actions that I hold you in a place of very high regard and would do anything to ensure that I am putting my best foot forward to build toward our mutual happiness rather than allowing you to continue much longer to move through the world with feelings of doubt about if these sensations between the two of us, this chemistry that is so palpable, the hints and innuendos which point towards something more, are completely one-sided or if I am right there with you, stumbling through how to move from where we are currently into a greater exploration and expression of these feelings that have bubbled up from inside. You are every prayer answered in one person, and I am so grateful at your arrival, finally and at long last, in my life. I have been so lonely without you, and I can't wait until we are able to share our lives more directly with one another. So those are your messages in terms of signs with swords. We've got air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Pentacles is earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Cups is water, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Justice is Libra. The fool is Aries, and the moon is Pisces and Cancer. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now from their higher self? one can change my love for you. I do think about the future and when I do I think about you in it. I've thought about taking a trip with you. I have an offer for you. I've been hurt by love before. I really hate not communicating as much as I want to. I keep a close eye on your social media. I've been astral projecting to you. I'm really sensitive deep down. I just put up a front. And some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your person, or could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got B, P, V, G, Q, E, C, R, Z, H, M, Y, R, N, O, G, D, O, and N. 
So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy, my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters, including several varieties of channeled message readings similar to this one. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi group two. You chose the Amazonite heart. So I'm going to start with some tarot and I will use these as the framework for the channeling and then I'll dive in the, into the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial portion of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through here in the first section or can serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So what does your person want you to know right now? Okay, we have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. I hate that I worked so hard to manifest you into my life and I pushed you away like a fool. I have been hurting without you, suffering in silence, looking back on the ways in which I took you for granted and the time that has passed between when a long overdue apology should have been delivered and where we find ourselves at currently that makes the prospect of moving towards you a very necessary and yet daunting idea, to say the least. I am haunted by the memories of our last encounter with one another, words that I held back out of stubbornness and pride that could have solved so much, prevented so much turmoil between the two of us, would have given you a greater understanding of my motivations for behaving the way that I am behaving at this point in time. There is nothing that you need to change. Everything about you is, in a way, almost too flawless, according to my perceptions. And this is what has created some red flags for me that has caused me to need to take a step back from this situation. I have handled that in a sloppy manner, and there is no degree of apologizing that can make up for the ways in which I forfeited taking the higher road and instead subjected you to the nature of my wounds coming out in a most unsavory manner that has left you with a sense of questioning if anything that existed between the two of us was ever real in the first place. I never meant to cause confusion and heartbreak for you, and yet I have succeeded in doing just that. Please know that you are not alone. I am suffering in the silence right alongside you. At this point, I think it is beyond a reasonable request 
for me to expect that you will just take me back with open arms. I know that there is so much that I need to bring out into the light and make right between the two of us. You are owed more at this point in time than a half-hearted effort. And so until I am ready to rise to the occasion, stand by your side and remain there stoically and consistently, then I feel that it is probably in your best interest that I continue to stand here and cry over the spilled milk opportunity that now exists in place of the beauty of what we were building towards with one another that I became too terrified to fully trust and invest my faith into and successfully managed to undermine and bring into a place where now there are complications that didn't need to exist. Now I find myself in over my head as far as where I am positioned currently versus the closeness that I wish I was experiencing with you. I am reaching out to you with my mind to test the waters and see how easy it would be to approach you in the material world. I know that you sense me on the outskirts of your reality, for I feel your defensiveness your guardedness, which is completely appropriate considering, considering everything that has happened, that flares up whenever I get too close, whenever there is too much attention directed towards you. I can't get anything by your intuition, which is what makes it so difficult for me to approach at this point. I know that when I come to you, I must come correctly, stating my full truth, or else I should remain at a distance, for nothing less will suffice after everything I have put you through. I see you from a different light, and the circumstances we are in currently has been educational in a painful way, to say the least. I miss you more than I care to admit even to myself, and I have no one to blame for the present circumstances except myself alone as well. I am deep in thought and I have been humbled in several ways by the universe in the aftermath of what has transpired between the two of us. I see that by failing to appreciate you, I have now at this point taken from myself one of the greatest blessings of this chapter in my life. I hope to move back towards you as a changed individual. And until that moment arrives, I hope you will not hesitate to keep your heart open to the beautiful experiences of love which you are deserving of, and which I regret I was not able to provide you substantially the first time around. So those are your messages in terms of signs with pentacles. We've got Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Swords is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Cups is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And the hanged man is Pisces. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now from their higher self? Okay, and they say, I'm always reminded of you. Just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. I've been hurt by love before. I've thought about you spending time with my family and me. I am not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons. When we first met, I just always had this feeling about you. I've looked into tarot readings. 
I've thought about living together. You really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I don't want you to be with anyone else. So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name, or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got S, U, H, L, T, W, H, S, F, D, W, N, M, U, A, P, T, E, V, Z, R, and F. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters, including several varieties of channeled message readings similar to this one. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. I chose the honey calcite heart. So I'm going to start with some tarot and use these as the framework for the channeling and then I'll dive into the deeper energies surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial portion of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through here in the first section or can serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So, what does your person want you to know right now? We have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, the Emperor, Temperance, Six of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. The tension building between the two of us is intoxicating. I am so fascinated by this connection and I am eager to experience what the years to come have to show to the two of us as far as layers and a nature of showing up in loving partnerships that neither of us has had the incentive or ability to experience fully with anyone prior to each other. You give me so much to look forward to, and every encounter with you fills me with a sense of possibility. 
I am changing my perspectives as far as who I am and what I have thought was my greatest strength, my value in terms of partnerships, what I had to bring to the table to others that had previously been determined to be my best qualities. I am seeing, in fact, are outshined by more subtle elements of myself that you have teased out of a place of hiding, but which feels so natural when expressed with you and owned by me as part of the more dominant aspects of my authenticity and personality. It is harder and harder for me to compact myself into a state of actually believing that I am enjoying the life that I am living, which in many ways feels so empty in the aspects and components that don't have you threaded perfectly into the essence of what these aspects of my life are. There is so much that I want to explore with you, to express to have your energy imprint upon. You make me see the world in a more beautiful way, and you are helping every day with the sunshine of the reality of your existence to bring me beyond a place of dwelling on everything that did not work out in my life, which has left me in a place of being scared to take chances. You are melting the ice which had developed around my heart the last time it was broken, and you are encouraging me to trust in the redemptive power of connection and intimacy as a balm to heal the wounds which have been howling from inside for far too long. I feel so joined to you at a soul level. And I know that it is important that I do my part to ensure that wounds from my past are closed up neatly and sufficiently so that when more develops between the two of us, it is embarked upon with a fullness and a freshness that we are experiencing one another for who we are in the moment rather than being so compelled to compare what we have in the here and now from what we have known and what has disappointed us back then. Thank you for being my motivation to imagine a life that has both peace and possibility woven intricately within the very nature of it. Thank you for helping to bring forth into the forefront of who I am more of a determined and patient aspect where instead of rushing into a connection, I allow love to bloom in its proper season. I like the pace and momentum that we have set with one another. I can't explain to you enough just how compelled I am by the times where there is such palpable chemistry between us, only to be followed up by a clear demonstration of self-restraint. It is this push-pull dynamic which is building the intensity and urgency of my need to make sure that you are mine unequivocally and forever. I don't want to miss my opportunity to experience the expansiveness with love, of love with you, and so I am doing my part to remain diligent, awake, and aware of where the signs around and inside me are guiding me. I don't want to let you go. I want to show to you that I am more determined than ever to co-create with you beyond the understanding we have with one another at this point into something that brings to life more of the reality of all the ways we have always known love should be, but which was ever elusive in our previous dealings with other partners. I want to show you the type of love which nurtures and at the same point challenges because I want you to step into the fullest of your potential in the same way that you encourage me to step into the fullness of mine. I feel in many ways that my life had been in a state of dormancy prior to your arrival. You have brought to life a component within me that is both wise for the experiences I have had before and is enthusiastic that there is still time to have new and varied experiences as far as love and life is concerned as a whole. 
You help me to see the brighter side of things, and you have been my light in the darkness for so long that I want to shower you with the same ability, the reciprocity, for you to take the weight off your shoulders for just a moment and to understand that I am a safe space in which you can be vulnerable and can be seen and appreciated for all of your good qualities rather than being held accountable for your faults as people and love have made you do in the past. I want to see the seasons pass with you and I want to do what it takes in order to ensure that you are the one by my side forevermore. I am motivated to take action, and I am trusting in divine timing to lead us both to the place where what comes next between us is ever more apparent. You are always on my mind, and I can't wait to surprise you with the little aspects of me that in fact will contribute to a big appreciation and understanding of the kind of lover I am capable of being and that I know you have been yearning for on a deep soul level. Thank you for bringing out the best in me and for helping me to recognize that my fate is in my hands and for motivating me to do whatever it takes in order to make the dream of us become a reality sooner rather than later. So those are your messages in terms of signs with temperance. We have Sagittarius, the emperor is Aries, cups is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, wands is fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, pentacles is earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and the hanged man is Pisces. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now from their higher self? They say, I want commitment with you, just not yet. I love you. I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. My nerves have been getting the best of me. I do pray about us. I don't know how to express my love to you, so I keep it inside. You really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. It feels like something is missing without you around. And I've thought about surprising you with a date. So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name, or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. I, V, C, R, V, S, K, W, I, Y, Y, P, L, F, E, L, H, U, H, P, and S. 
So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters, including several varieties of channeled message readings similar to this one. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.